good morning and welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Some incredible music. We'll have more of that a little bit later, but now we're chatting about some more Sundance shorts. It's Bonnie Otto and I am joined by some of the filmmakers here. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. How are you today? Good morning. A pleasure good to have morning. you here. And so uh, to my right, I have Andre Meza. Hello. And then we also have Eric Maynard. How's it going? And then last of all, we have Diego Meza as hey. well. Uh, brothers. Brothers. There you go. Nice to have you guys here. This film, Body Auto, is in the, is, am I saying that right? Boniato? Close, Bonnie. but not really. <laughs> well, it's, that's it's, why you're it's, here. It's, um, it's Boniato. 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 It's a Caribbean sweet <laughs> potato. A much. Caribbean sweet potato. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then along with that, you guys have actually already won a couple of awards for this. It's been singled out for awards last year at the, the Diabolic International Film Festival, the Toronto After Dark Film Festival, Fright Night Horror Weekend, and Freak Show Film Festival, among some others. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Already getting a lot of, of time in the spot. Spotlight. Nice to have you guys here. This is in the horror genre. Let's first set the stage for uh, what this is about. Diego, where did this concept come from? Well, actually, it started with Eric uh, because Eric actually owns a farm in Miami. Mm -hmm. And uh, the story goes, and he could probably tell it better than I can, but the story goes is that he was driving down, saw all these uh, migrant workers on the fields, and thought that they would be great as a central character for a film. And then uh, he wanted to do a horror film. He connected with us, and uh, we put together this short, Boniato. All right, Eric, what did you think when they approached you with this? Or, well, or rather, when you, as you guys collaborated to move forward with this idea? Yeah. Well, um, you know, like you said, I, 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 uh, I would witness these, uh, these migrants out there in these huge fields that uh, my, my farm's around. And uh, I thought it'd be a great, you know, a great start for a story. And uh, I, would, I, I didn't want to go into the regular like Latino stereotypes. Mm -hmm. We knew we, I wanted to do like some sort of horror um, genre kind of feel. And these guys are the horror, uh, the horror kings of Miami. <laughs> and we've worked on a lot of little um, you know, shorts in the past of theirs. And so I, I just, it was just natural to, to call them up, get them involved, and hash out the story. Sure. And get it, get it out, get it going. So this story, it focuses, is, it focuses a young lady. Yeah. Is yeah. that right? Tell me a little bit, without giving too much away, about how, set the scene for us of what we can expect. Uh, well, it's uh, this, this girl, she's looking for her father, and she's working these fields as a picker, and she's sort of tired with it. She wants to move on. And unfortunately for her, these supernatural forces keep her from doing that. Mm -hmm. um, and let's <laughs> chat a little bit about the horror genre. What is it Please. that captivates people so much that they pay money to sit in a seat and be terrified? I, I don't understand it because I actually avoid the horror genre because yeah. it sticks with me in a way that I cannot deal with. But you guys like love it. Yeah. What, what is it about it that draws you to it? I think in many ways it's sort of the same thing as an action genre, which okay. is, you know, you're putting your character through difficulties. I think horror does it to the next level where you're, you're sort of in this adventure where the consequences are much more dire than your average movie. Just a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, I right. think, and I also think it's a good catharsis for the audience mm. to just let it all out, let their, their fears out. And you'll, you'll notice after uh, a horror movie screening, people usually come out laughing, smiling, like it, it, it releases something. I'm not, ah, we're not really yeah. sure what, but there's something there about Interesting. it. Interesting. Yeah. What do you yeah. think about that, Diego? Uh, I agree. I, I, think, I think for audiences, too, it's, you know, to go on a little bit about what he said, it's kind of the safest way to experience the unsafe yeah. with like ah, horror films. A safe way to experience So uh, that's really what draws us to it. Um, yeah. Interesting. Now, Eric, I want you to share with me a little bit about, I've heard there's some symbolism associated with what you guys have going on mm. here with these uh, illegal migrant workers. What is that representative of? Were you looking to go in that direction, or did it just happen to make some parallels to yeah, what we're you know, dealing we, with? Yeah, we, we're not trying to make a like a statement in sure. this movie, although it's like inevitable, yeah. especially in happen. times we're in yet. But you know, it's a very physical movie, um, and the, the 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 physicality of the movie, like the the actual uh, events that unfold, and and uh, you know that the analogy lies in in the actual. You know, in the actual physicality of the movie, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, you know, you can't help but but notice him when you're when you're watching it, when you're watching the movie, uh, and uh, see the similarities, the struggles that a lot of these uh, folks go through. Uh, you know, 
shown in, in, in the light of this, of this, uh, of this piece. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and yeah, you know, I think, uh, I think, like I said, we weren't trying to per se push any real thing down. You didn't have an throat. agenda. No, like it's, this. A, it's, a a great, like, it's entertainment. It's a, it's a roller coaster yeah. ride. It's like it's it's a really fun movie to watch. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. um, one of the things we were really interested in too was shining a light on these these characters, making them the central character of our story. These migrant workers that sure. are usually forgotten or or ignored. So uh, that was kind of you know the impetus of the idea was to sort of make a movie that was based on these people. All right, well, what do you say we take a look at a, a quick clip cool. from the film? Awesome. All right, Boniato. Boniato. Okay, Bonyato. that's what you guys, here it is. <laughs> Check it out. Those are the kind of trailers that really draw you in at the beginning that you're like, oh my <laughs> gosh, what is yeah. going on here? Because you have gotcha. President Obama's voice throughout and then all these really contrasting images. You guys brilliantly yeah, put that yeah, together. Actually, one of the the cool things that we wanted to do also uh -huh. is make it seem like it's not a horror movie and it's sort of just like in like the five minute mark it just gets that's crazy. why I was yeah. okay yeah. with watching it because yeah, as yeah. I said I'm terrified yeah. of horror like they tricked yeah. me yeah, <laughs> yeah we try to sucker people in but <laughs> you kind of did even if, well, a, even if you're not a big horror fan this movie is uh, super entertaining and exactly. the, you know, the action is, is tense um, well, excited and, to have it yeah. here in Park City. Congratulations, and Eric, we can see this. Uh, it's the Midnight Shorts uh, program, yeah. Over at the Prospector, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Eleven thirty right. tonight, and I think we have one more showing tomorrow in Salt Lake City, and then two more in Park City. Very good. Well, gentlemen, congratulations Thank on being here. A pleasure to have you all here. Thanks for the work you've done and uh, shedding light on such a fascinating subject, uh, yeah. subject matter of that. So thank you very Thank much. you. Thank you for having us. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Much more here on the Mountain Morning Show.